Hey everyone, Lego Landman here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 75280 501st Battle Pack. This set costs $30, has 285 pieces in the United States. With that out of the way, let's go take a look at the Here is the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. This minifigure has been a long time coming. I mean, we, we waited seven years for another one of these figures. Uh, this figure has really nice, I, I really like the lighter blue compared to the, the dark blue on the older 501st Trooper. Uh, I unfortunately sold mine, <laughs> so I don't have that anymore. But uh, this minifigure is really, really neat. Um, I actually like the fact that it doesn't have any waist printing. I think that's really cool. Um, I like that it's white right here. That's, um, you know, uh, that that's good. We could have used some blue arm printing, I think. If they, if they were going to go all out on the set and really, really make it shine, some arm printing would have been nice. I would have really liked to see that. Um, on the back, he's got just a, stip, a standard, you know, clone trooper back print. Nothing special. What I actually like most about this figure is, is the new clone face, which I have showed off in my other reviews. So if you want to check those out, you can. Um, so we get three of those in the set. Here is the 501st Jet Trooper, and we'll actually take his weapon off. You can see, oh, this weapon actually has a candle piece from Harry Potter at the end of it in black, and it is really nice. Um, this reminds me of the Jet Trooper from the Battlefront game. Um, Battlefront 2 or 3, I think. I can't really remember which one is out right now. Um, I don't like the fact that it has blue arms. I wish it had um, dual-molded blue arms and had the white, like the... 501st Trooper. I wish it was dual molded. Um, but you know, you can't really complain because Lego did actually make the set, which is a good thing. Um, again, same face and the blue jet pack. It's really nice. And I will take that off to show you the back torso print. That's the back torso print. Not much different from the 501st Trooper other than the little blue markings right there. Here is there. the battle droid. And yes, this is still the same battle droid they've been using. Since 2007, uh, you can see it's just a typical battle droid. You get two of those in this set. Uh, nothing special, really. Um, I don't like the fact that they included battle droids. I wish this was still a $15 battle pack. It would be more affordable that way, and you could double the, the amount of sets you get. But, um, you know, it's nice to increase your droid army, especially with no battle packs coming in January 2021. Um, so, you know, it's always nice to get a couple of battle droids. And, um... This set is definitely one for the minifigures that you will probably, most likely, pick up multiples of. But let's take a look at Here the build. Is the bark speeder of this set. And I gotta say, this is really, really a cool bark speeder. Um, I don't know, though, if this was a $15 battle pack, what vehicle I'd want more. I want to say the bark speeder because it's just more of a sleek design, I think. Um, uses a lot of stickers. This whole piece right here has three stickers on it. Um, you can attach some weapons here. I guess these can be spare weapons for your clone troopers. Um, it, it sits really nicely. It, you know, you can... I wish it had some studs on the bottom, though. Like, the inverted tiles. Clear inverted tiles. Because bark speeders don't really go on the ground like that. They kind of hover. So, I wish it had that. Stud shooters, obviously. You all know how those work by now. Um, I like this design right here. Because it kind of has the clip coming out. And then the brick inside. It's really cool. You can tell I had a little trouble putting this sticker on. I'm trying to see if it can stay, but it's, you know, I'm probably just going to get another 501st Battle back anyway. I'll probably buy uh, a, a lot of these sets just for the minifigs. Um, yeah, I, I really like this design of the speeder. Obviously, it can hold your trooper really nice. And these handlebars and the seat is really, really nice. And it's, it's the trooper sits down really well. And I think that... You know, he, uh, he really fits on there nice, and it's really a sleek design that a lot of people will buy. The ATRT now, my biggest gripe with this build uh, is the stud shooter on top. I don't like the stud shooter. I wish it was a cannon, a little longer cannon, kind of like the one on the AAT, but not, obviously not as long. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about this one. Uh, the feet move. You can move the legs, the joints, the feet, uh, the toes. <laughs> All this moves up and down. Uh, this right here is really nice. It's I love how it doesn't fall off easily like the 2019 Clone Scud Walker. Got a printed piece right there. And what I really like is that this Clone Trooper, when you pull him off, 
you won't pull the handlebar off because the handlebar is stuck in there. It's built it's built in there, and I really like that. Um, I really like how it's only using two studs so the legs won't fall off and get stuck or whatever. Uh, a lot of stickers, however. There's one right here. Oh, two right here. And one on either side. Um, I think there's one more. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, this is a place to put a weapon weapon on the back or another weapon, but I put some binoculars there. Yeah, this is a really nice ATRT. Um, definitely worth the $30. I still wish it was 15 for one just one of these builds. I don't know which one I would rather prefer, but it's a really nice, really nice set. And I think every LEGO fan should buy this because it's really, really good. And I think that... You know, it's a good set for all Lego. I should mention, by the way, that I bought this set at Kohl's, twenty-one dollars. Um, you know, it, it was before November, so it probably shouldn't have been on sale. But I kind of talked my way into getting the deal because it said twenty, twenty-one, and then it said thirty on the package. But I was like, yeah, just use a cheaper price if I can, which happened. That was good, and f overall, this set is really, really nice. Um, again, fifteen dollars would have preferred that, but um. With no battle packs coming in 2021, I think this is going to be a bestseller. I think this is really, I mean, you can see how fast this set is sold out. It's still sold out on lego.com, which is just absolutely insane. Um, but if you can find one of these and you have the money, definitely pick one up. I think it's really, really good set. And um, yeah, I would give this set a 10 out of 10 because it's something we've been campaigning for for almost two years now. And we finally have it. And it's it's here it's 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 real and I uh, it brought a tear to my eye when I saw it in the in the store for the first time it was really really cool and I hope that you know Lego can make more thirty dollar style battle packs like this but I'm gonna ask you guys would you prefer fifteen dollar battle packs or thirty dollar battle packs I'm gonna ask you that in the, in the description in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think um, I'll put a pinned comment and. You can tell me what you think. Um, but overall, if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all later. Bye for now.